the grass in front of the lion's face, as I assume what James was referring to. This isn't just any ordinary grass, is it? Look very, very closely. Very closely. And only then will you be able to see what's different about it, this particular patch of grass, especially when it starts to move across in my direction. This is the most beautiful example of camouflage. And we really, we've been spoiled this year. We've had the flower mantids that look like these beautiful grass flowers. We've had grasshoppers of all shapes and sizes. And now we've got this amazing creature that looks exactly like a blade of grass. Here you go, this is its antenna over here. Its eyes are down here. And it is so perfectly striped in a way that looks like grass, green, fresh green grass with some drying out brown, gra brown grass in between. And that I find amazing. I wonder if this is something that it's evolved specifically for this time of year as the grass starts, starts to grow off, because this would be the perfect time to have that kind of camouflage, half brown and half green. I wonder if I can coax it onto my hand. Probably not, but I'll give it a go. Hello? No. No such luck. Look at that. Powerful, powerful jumping legs, very long jumping legs, but even the legs look like blades of grass. They are even flattened in the way that blades of, thick blades of grass are. Everything about this creature is designed to hide. Even its instinct to remain almost completely still. Now it's moving away from my hand. There you go. I'm just getting it to move ever so slightly so that you can see what exactly what it is. How's that for a beautiful hidden secret? And I would never in a million years have spotted that if it hadn't walked out in front of me or jumped out in front of me and landed at my feet. Otherwise, I would completely have missed that. There's no way on earth. The only person who might have seen it, there's two people. One is Herbie and the other is Steph. And Steph has got some kind of amazing superpower. I promise you it's a superpower. He, he, it's like he just knows where there's some kind of fascinating insect or creepy crawly for him to look at. Something that his son has inherited. Hello. Now, the cool thing about this, there's something I want to show you. Okay, all right, we'll go sh show you over there. I want to try and show you what else this particular creature has that makes it so fascinating. I've lost it. I took my eyes off it for one second. It's here. Is it here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's got a really good, really, really good example of flash coloration underneath here. It's got wings, and beneath that lies a flash of purple, bright, deep purple. And that also works really well. So imagine that a predator like a bird is after this particular creature. So it leaps away, perhaps flutters into the air, stretches out its wings, and the bird's attention is immediately drawn to that bright flash of purple. Then it closes its wings, drops to the ground, lands on a blade of grass and vanishes. And the bird is fooled by that flash of color and has absolutely no idea where to look for this insect. And remember, birds see in color very well. So having a bright color, and that's, that's the most likely thing that's going to prey on this particular creature. So having a flash of color will be a really good approach. I'm trying to encourage it to open up, but I don't, oh, there, can you sort of see there? Mm -hmm. There you go. Pinkish purple. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to knock your leg. It's kicking me now, which is fair enough. I would also kick me. There, there. Yeah, can you see that flash of color? Oh, and then closed again. And immediately it becomes less obvious. That's called flash coloration. 
And lots of insects utilize it, lots of frogs utilize it. Frogs in particular, something like a bubbling cassina or a red-legged cassina is another very good example. They've got, the inside of their legs is bright, bright red. So when they jump, the predator's attention is drawn straight to that flash of red and then they stop and they crouch and they camouflage and the animal is still looking for that flash of red to guide it to wherever its prey is. So it's a very useful approach.